This unique program, Viva Cuba and the Gulf Stream Challenge, reveals stories about Cuba while following teams of American athletes who traveled there over three years in a row to cross the open ocean on paddle boards from Havana to Key West, a distance of 112 miles. Paddle boarding is a fast growing water sport that features an oversized lightweight surfboard shape with a stabilizer fin, often hollow and custom built that is designed to be paddled by the hands. The sport of surfing spawned the sport of paddleboarding. It attracts water and ocean enthusiasts and athletes, as well as the big wave surfers from around the world, because paddleboarding requires great endurance and training, and it can be done on any body of water. It is a solo sport that represents freedom and being close to nature for many people. Yeah, my warm up for Cuba, ladies and gentlemen, warm up for Cuba. Later on, check me out as I go. Viewers of this program will get a look at ocean water sports and the paddleboarding industry. It is currently a part of professional lifeguarding competitions being held around the coastlines of the United States and as part of the World Lifeguarding Championships. The sport is gaining popularity worldwide and features long distance races for individuals or relay teams. Competitions take place in Australia, South Africa, California, Hawaii, and the Florida Keys. The guy up there's on a 10 6 and he's flying, I can't catch him. My gun, baby. It's actually not bad, we're getting a little cloud cover. I died the last 20 minutes. I think I got it. Too hot. Too hot. The Gulf Stream Challenge relay race to Cuba is made up of four person teams assembled to paddle the 112 miles from Havana, Cuba to Key West, Florida, crossing the notorious and treacherous Gulf Stream. This program follows three years of attempts to get to Cuba by dedicated American athletes featuring two years of women's teams and a men's team. This story is about committed athletes who have overcome personal sacrifice to challenge the open ocean. There's something inside me, it makes me get on my board. It follows water sports professionals and the ultimate enthusiasts during years of training, running, swimming, weight training, competing, and cross-training in many varieties of water sports. The fire for adventure is something I can't ignore. For endurance paddleboard training, many days start at sunrise with 12 miles of paddling. What do you think, Brian? How's it look? Looks good, looks good. A little choppy out there, actually. Okay. Conditions sometimes are challenging, but we'll be, we'll be all right. Sound, it looks good. Our team paddlers for this program include professional ocean lifeguards from South Florida, paddleboard champions, firefighter, and EMT, swim coaches, two high school teachers, we forgot the denominator today, an endurance ocean distance swimmer, a professional women swimmer, and a synchronized swimmer. The program features lifestyle profiles on each of the team members, including a look at their athletic endeavors. The common interests of all the participants are water sports, a deep love and respect for the ocean, and seeking the world record titles for both team and distance awesome. paddleboarding. All right, Cynthia, baby. I thought about your dolphins, you know that? <laughs> That's what helped me. I was like, we got dolphins coming out. Okay, good luck. Uh, what a split. The first two years of the Gulf Stream Challenge were halted by hurricanes and tropical storms. During the first year, the women's team made it halfway before being pulled from the water at 3 a.m. when they encountered a lightning storm, big seas, and blinding rain squalls. It's uh, really dark out. <laughs> a little scary. 
The world record title was finally captured by our women's team in the third year's attempt, making the around-the-clock crossing in 26 hours and 16 minutes. This is a story about dedicated and daring individuals who planned, trained, and sacrificed all for the chance to capture a world record. <laughs> Viewers will see the determination, stamina, and the dangers of the 112 mile paddle across the notorious Sharkfield Gulf Stream. Capturing stories of Cuba with its friendly people while following dedicated American athletes in their quest for adventure and world records makes this a one-of-a-kind documentary. Rarely have cameras shown such an intimate look at Cuban life as experienced firsthand by American athletes. Viva Cuba and the Goldstream Challenge will finally tell this story to television audiences. Hello. Don't miss the opportunity to reveal to the world the ultimate Cuban travel adventure and reality story of individual athletic challenge. Be a part of Viva Cuba and the Gulfstream Challenge, made available as a co-production. Available fall 2005 as a one or two hour sports special documentary. Viva Cuba! Stream challenge, forbidden island in the big blue sea. Viva Cuba and the Gulf Stream challenge from Havana to Key West. I'll never be the same. Viva Cuba and the Gulf Stream challenge, forbidden island in the big blue ocean. Viva Cuba. Stream challenge after finding love in Cuba. I'll never be the same. Viva Cuba and the Gulf Stream challenge. The Bidden Island in the Big Blue Sea. Viva Cuba and the Gulf Stream challenge. From Havana to Key West, I'll never.